Mr. Ponce de Leon and Jerry Penalosa. Let's take a look at it. De Leon is 30 and 1, 28 knockouts. Penalosa 51, 5 and 2, 32 knockouts. Las and Vegas, 12 rounds of boxing. This is for the WBO IBA Light Featherweight Championship of the World. Opening it up lately and had more exciting fights. And you've got the Mexico-Philippine rivalry, which has been asserting itself in the last year or so. A couple of hard-punching lefties, and De Leon tries to go right to work. He's the younger fighter, the harder puncher. And he's got the home turf. So he's trying to walk right through Penalosa here. Penalosa trying to stave him off. De Leon is a strong fighter. Penalosa trying to counter him on the inside. Good body shot by De Leon. Getting the jab out is De Leon. Fires the long body shot just to let Penalosa know he's got it, even though it wasn't a good spot to fire it from. See, good technique here by De Leon. Two jabs to the face, and then a body shot. Good body shot there by De Leon. He is working the body exceptionally well in the early going. Just underway, scheduled for 12. I'm Dave Bontempo at ringside here at the Mandalay Bay Event Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. There's a good right hook by Penalosa that sneaked home. De Leon tries to make him pay for it. There's some excellent body work here by De Leon. At least seven vicious body shots. Make that eight now in the opening round. He doesn't just throw a body shot. He unloads it. Good right hook by De Leon. Works the body on Penalosa. Good right hook to the body by De Leon. And so while Jerry Penalosa is feisty in the opening round, De Leon shows why he's one of the top fighters in the game. 51-5-2 with 32 knockouts, has been in 58 fights in a career dating back to 1989, and has never been stopped. Daniel Ponce de Leon has knocked out about 90% of his opponents. So which factor will emerge? That's the secret ingredient behind this fight. In the opening round, it looked like De Leon's power would rule over Penalosa's durability. But we'll see. Continued good body work here by De Leon as he walks Penalosa back. Body shot by De Leon. Penalosa having trouble getting to De Leon, who just walks through guys with no fear. De Leon just dares you to hurt him. And if you don't, he walks straight ahead.
Good hard left hand by Deleon and another one landing. Good shot by Deleon. The left hand is finding its mark to the head now in round two after round one was a body punching clinic. Penalosa scores with a nice right hook. Good right hook by Penalosa. Caught De Leon off balance. And he did not try to follow. He knew that he had just caught De Leon walking in and not hurt him. But it's a good development for Penalosa. It should develop some respect for him. Good jab by Penalosa. But he dips down low and catches the right hook. So round two, a very good one. And Penalosa has something to say at the end of what had been a good on round three, scheduled 4-12. Ponce de Leon, champion, 30 and 1, 28 knockouts. Jerry Penalosa, 51, 5 and 2, 32 knockouts. He's from Cebu in the Philippines, and de Leon from Mexico, and a very pro-Mexico crowd here, as you might expect in Las Vegas, Nevada. Not far from Mexico. Junior featherweight title held by De Leon, WBO and IBA on the line. Penalosa made a good attempt to catch De Leon coming in and just missed him off to the side. Nice idea by Penalosa. And a, cry, a chant of Ponce, Ponce for De Leon. Body work by De Leon. Right uppercut by De Leon. One thing about Penalosa, he's making the fight honest. He is staying in front of De Leon, trying to launch some big shots. And so we get engaged in a slugfest. Good left hand by Penalosa. Good right hook by Penalosa. So the Philippine invader making a pretty good statement in round three. Still the reach of De Leon, a significant factor here. Leon backing Penalosa up, missing a lot though. Left hand by Penalosa scores. Some good accuracy by Penalosa in a round that De Leon was getting off first. Penalosa may steal round three as we come to the end of it. Four scheduled for 12. Championship match in the WBO and IBA between Daniel. Ponce de Leon and Jerry Penalosa. It's a Philippines-Mexico rivalry. It's a matchup of two lefties who are throwing a lot of leather. And thus they have defied a generalization that two lefties cannot make an exciting fight.
most of the time that's true. But so far tonight, that's not true. De Leon backing Penalosa up. Penalosa trying to creep over the top of a lazy jab and scoring as he does there. For De Leon, what he would like to do is leave that jab out there, get it back, and then move. He's moving straight back, and so Penalosa is coming at him after he misses. Good hard body shot by De Leon and Penalosa trying to score with the right hook. Good right body shot here. Good hook by De Leon. He does not get cheated to the body. You have to be in good shape to absorb the big body shots and keep on going. Good right hook to the head by Penalosa and to the body by De Leon. De Leon continues to work that body. Good work here by De Leon. Jab by De Leon continues to show the way. Penalosa's punch is dying in the gloves here of De Leon. And another good, hard, vicious body shot by De Leon. This is good quality stuff because top flight body punching is an art. And you're looking at very good example of perfection in De Leon. I need more from you, all right? You got to make more combinations, you understand? You can't give me that one punch. You're looking for the bomb, okay? You will hit him with combinations. You throw four punches, you hit him with three. You understand me? El mismo lado nada más, no, cama, no, no, puede tirarlo. ¿Eh? Ya, esa puñalada, si la metes abajo, pero no tenga precaución, pon un poquito chupale, más de distancia. Chupale, chupale, ya. Ah, mira, no tires tan lejos, te, te veo con mucha precaución, acércate más para que los, los golpes te salgan bien, los ganchos no te van a salir a esa distancia, ¿eh? Okay. Sí, si te acerca más, se lo mete al hombro, al pecho, al cuello. Cama, campeón. Sácate más. Well, the numbers from the last round, as we push forward into round five, indicate the round in a nutshell, because De Leon outlanded Penalosa, 20 to 16, good shots landed. Penalosa had the higher percentage, but when those numbers come together, usually the higher volume outdoes the higher percentage. So when this fight's over, if it's a decision, and if a lot of rounds go like that last one, you'll get a chance to see if that holds up. If you had to take a choice, you'd rather have the higher punch volume and the lower percentage. Fifth round action scheduled 4-12, and it's a good one here. Ponce de Leon and Jerry Penaloso. Mexico against the Philippines, lefty against lefty, veteran against veteran. Penaloso has 58 fights, 51-5-2 with 32 knockouts. De Leon, 30 and 1, 28 knockouts. And yet this is the fight for De Leon that if he stops Penalosa, he'll be all out to do it. 
Penalosa has a good chin. He's been a pro since 1989 and never been stopped. The numbers from the last round indicating also that Penalosa is counter punching. And he's trying to make the most of the counter punching situation. Like right there. Penalosa trying to sneak through. This is turning into a real good fight. Because De Leon has been blitzing through guys with that great talent, good power. And here's Penalosa, who's crafty enough to try some things and yet gutsy enough to stay with him. So he passes the big courage tests when he needs them. Good right hook by Penalosa. Both fighters showing a lot of heart. As we come to the end of round five. Six, six, and the interesting six. thing, as we close in on the halfway point, is can Jerry Penalosa do more than excel in the counter punching department? Daniel Ponce de Leon has gotten off first and landed harder punches to the body. Penalosa has countered well to the head. That will keep him in the fight, but it probably won't win him the fight. So as we move along into the middle rounds, the question is going to be, can Penalosa rise up that notch and get to De Leon and hurt him? We're at the Mandalay Bay Event Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm Dave Bontempo at ringside. I'm glad you're watching this wherever you're enjoying it around the world. De Leon pawing with the jab. Body shots have lost a little something for the moment. Penalosa trying to counter. Watch your hands. Some wide shots by De Leon. Unconventional. And he's open up the middle. Penalosa crossing, trying to score with the uppercut. Instead, he ate one. Body shot by De Leon gets in. Penalosa sneaks back and scores. Tries for the big right hook. Penalosa trying to load up. De Leon shoving him off, going back to the body. Penalosa has had some good moments. He's been in the countering role. He's landed the better head shots. De Leon has landed the better body shots. Penalosa comes on at the end of round six. <laughs> Second half of the fight. Ponce De Leon and Jerry Penalosa hooked up in a gritty affair. Scheduled for 12 rounds. De Leon 30 and 1, 28 knockouts. Penalosa 51, 5 and 2, 32 knockouts. De Leon 
Scoring to the body again. Trying to score to the head. He's blocked. The biggest difference between the guys is that De Leon is getting off first. Penalosa is a good counter puncher. And he does nail him a few times. He's had some moments in the fight. But when you're counter punching, you have to be twice as good as you normally would be in order to win. Well, sometimes guys will be counter punchers because it's too dangerous to be on the lead. De Leon working the body. Penalosa looking for the head. De Leon sneaks home a jab. So does Penalosa, who then comes back and tries to score with more. Penalosa to the body. Penalosa enjoys a moment. De Leon with three. Penalosa continues to apply the heat. But De Leon gets there first with the body shot. Body shots by De Leon. Body shot by De Leon. Not a lot on it as they settle into a mid rounds battle. That's a slip. That's a big call or non call by the referee because. A knockdown would be a point. Lula, Amarra. Little wealth under the eye of Ponce de Leon. So we've got a nice battle going here into round eight. Daniel Ponce de Leon. And Jerry Penalosa. Ponce de Leon has been doing well to the body in this fight. Penalosa countering well to the head and getting a little bit more of a second win, perhaps, as he scores with a right hook. Jab by De Leon. Jab, jab, right hand by De Leon. And the left hand sneaking home. Right hook by Penalosa. Good left hand to the body by De Leon. And again works the body. Nice left hand again by De Leon. Those body shots by De Leon have more effect than the head shots of Penalosa. But a good vicious fight. Penalosa not backing up a bit. Still bringing the fight to De Leon. De Leon landing and backing away. Penalosa certainly has his respect now. And a good right hook by Penalosa. That scored well and shook De Leon. And De Leon is now firing wide shots. If Penalosa can get on the inside, he can score well. Penalosa sensing that momentum has swung to him.
Guys are really putting up a good effort, good pace in the fight. Manuelosa trying to slip on the inside to score. De Leon keeping him away here. The right hook by Penelosa gets in again, and maybe some of his earlier damage might be enough to swing the round to him, even though De Leon probably scored more punches. Nice work. Deep breath, Jerry. You need to double that left hook up, the right hook, you understand me? You hit him with a hook, you gotta double it up. Every time you hit him with a hook, he goes backwards. Mano, in the contragolpeo, conecta, muévete, amarra, nula. No estamos nulando, amarrando, conecta, muévete, come on. Penelosa sneaking through, keeping a good, compact frame. And this is an all-star selection here by Penelosa against the guy who's an elite fighter, many think. And that was a great right hook there by Penelosa. Some of the best shots that De Leon has absorbed in his career. So as we move along into round nine, these are two guys used to winning from this point on. Got one fighter is two and one, one is 15 and three. These guys do well in the championship rounds. And the two and one belongs to De Leon. 15 and three for Penalosa. De Leon doesn't see the other side of round eight very often. But he's seen it tonight against the guy who's come to fight and scores with a nice right hook. Penelosa is trying to step up his attack. Scores with the left hand. Remember earlier, Penelosa was countering all the time. Now he understands the urgency to take the lead. And he's sniffing the possibility of doing major damage. The door is open a little for Penelosa. Can he? shove it further open, or will De Leon slam it shut? Penelosa landing to the body. There's been a good pace in this fight, as you might expect from guys in this weight class. Little guys provide a lot of action. De Leon missing over the top. The pain Losa is showing in this fight that his comeback launched in 2006 was worth it. He'd open up a business in Cebu. But after Manny Pacquiao obtained the adulation of his countrymen and became a huge deal in the Philippines, Jerry Penalosa wanted to give himself one more run at it before he stepped aside for good. And he's put three nice fights together in a row. And even though he might be on the short end of this one, he's brought a lot of heart. And this one is getting more interesting. Peace. Peace. We start round 10, scheduled for 12. Daniel Ponce de Leon and Jerry Penalosa hooked up in a good junior featherweight battle. Guys who show good conditioning, veteran skills, a sense of timing, a sense of opportunity. 
And in the case of Peñalosa, as it gets late, a sense of desperation. The kind of fight you would expect from guys at the top of their game. And it has been a treat if you like the fundamentals of the sport. De Leon has been a ruthless body puncher. Peñalosa has been increasingly effective to the head. We are at the Mandalay Bay Event Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm Dave Bontempo at ringside. And wherever you're watching this around the world, you are being treated to a fast-paced fight. De Leon moving and scoring. Penelosa missing over the top and getting to the body. De Leon punching wildly. And we're seeing a lot of arm punching in this fight by De Leon that wasn't there in other matchups. And that's because Penelosa has forced him to fight while backing up at times. And De Leon has not been able to set. And what he's showing when he fires those wide base punches is a big target for Peñalosa to sneak through and come up the middle. And De Leon boxing smartly, moving laterally, and trying to make Peñalosa desperate. These guys have not had a quiet moment in this fight. A good testament to conditioning and old-time boxing values by two very good fighters. Round 11. Two to go. Jerry Peñalosa and Daniel Ponce de Leon. De Leon 30 and 1, 28 knockouts. Penelosa 51, 5 and 2. So between the two of them, they are 81 and 6. Tremendous win percentage, and that has shown up in the way these guys fight. The thing that a lot of people did not know when Penelosa launched his latest bid. For the golden ring last july was how much he put into it he'd been considered more of a boxer in his last few fights and he's come out winging in three straight fights two of which he won and here he's got his hands full against ponce de leon but he's still moving forward a lot and showing some good credentials De Leon has been extended by a guy who's shown a lot of tricks to him. A guy who has made him pay for a lot of mistakes. And as a result of that, sometimes we're seeing a little tentativeness in the jab of De Leon. A good body shot there by Penalosa. The interesting thing is that even though Peñalosa may be behind, he is carrying himself like he's ahead. And after the scoring we saw in the last fight, you don't know what to bank your hopes on anymore. Steve Forbes did a great job on the inside against Demetrius Hopkins, and one judge gave Hopkins 10 of the 12 rounds.
So once you see a verdict that you consider lopsided or unfair, you kind of want to take the judges out of play. These guys have been stepping up, hoping to try and do that. Now De Leon is tying up. Coming to the end of the round. And this is a good round for Penalosa. Round 11. Two to go. Jerry Penalosa and Daniel Ponce de Leon. De Leon 30 and 1, 28 knockouts. Penalosa 51, 5 and 2. So between the two of them, they are 81 and 6. Tremendous win percentage, and that has shown up in the way these guys fight. The thing that a lot of people did not know when Penalosa launched his latest bid for the Golden Ring last July was how much he'd put into it. He'd been considered more of a boxer in his last few fights. And he's come out winging in three straight fights, two of which he won. And here, he's got his hands full against Ponce de Leon, but he's still moving forward a lot and showing some good credentials. De Leon has been extended by a guy who's shown a lot of tricks to him. A guy who has made him pay for a lot of mistakes. And as a result of that, sometimes you're seeing a little tentativeness in the jab of De Leon. And a good body shot there by Penalosa. The interesting thing is that even though Penalosa may be behind, he is carrying himself like he's ahead. And after the scoring we saw in the last fight, you don't know what to bank your hopes on anymore. Steve Forbes did a great job on the inside against Demetrius Hopkins, and one judge gave Hopkins 10 of the 12 rounds. So once you see a verdict that you consider lopsided or unfair, you kind of want to take the judges out of play. These guys have been stepping up, hoping to try and do that. De Leon is tying up, coming to the end of the round. And this is a good round for Penalosa. So here we go, final round, Daniel Ponce de Leon and Jerry Penalosa before a pleased crowd at the Mandalay Events Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm Dave Bontempo at ringside in this matchup of fighters seeking the WBO and IBA championships at 122 pounds. 
There was a clash of heads in round 11, causing a nasty cut on the scalp of Peñalosa, but fortunately not in the eye area. But since it was ruled a headbutt, if the fight were to be stopped for that reason, then they would go to the scorecards, and whoever was ahead would win. That seems like an unlikely scenario now because we've only got slightly more than two minutes left in the fight. But the headbutting has picked up. Penalosa fighting with desperation. From the second half of the fight on, starting with round seven, he has fought with a lot more confidence, as if the aura and the spectacle of Ponce de Leon no longer bothered him. However, de Leon built up some good points in those early rounds. And that may be enough to carry him. De Leon has done a lot of slapping in this fight. A lot more than he's ever been forced to. You have to credit Peñalosa with forcing that to happen. De Leon has been twi uh, 12 twice. But most of the time, his fights don't get this far. Yet, these guys have displayed superb conditioning. This has been a fast-paced fight in a big ring. Let's make sure we emphasize that because the size of the ring could have made this fight drag if these guys were into evading each other. But they come at each other, and it's been a good battle of two lefties. Who says two lefties can't give you a real strong fight? Daniel Ponce de Leon and Jerry Peñalosa just did. And a partial standing ovation. Good effort. Good conditioning. De Leon had the early edge. Peñalosa started to come on. May have been too late. This is the headbutt from round 11. Watch the heads. A boom. They were both seeking positioning. They both wanted to get lower and launch a shot. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the Mandalay Bay of Las Vegas, we go to the scorecards. Nelson Vasquez and Dave Moretti, pardon me, and Chuck Jampa. Both score the bout 119, 109. Dave Moretti, 120, 108. All to the winner by unanimous decision. Still the light featherweight champion of the world, Daniel Ponce de Leon. Well, maybe they could have given Peñalosa some more rounds. That's why you're hearing the boos, but the right man won. And 